So I just wanted to do a quick video review on how to set up your steering wheel controls on an Xterra head unit. Um, Xterra is kind of the premium brand made by Dual. Um, I'll give a further um, a complete video review of this unit later. Um, I have model number AV6636MB. It is pretty new as of the taping of this video. Um, but with this unit, it has built-in steering wheel, steering wheel radio controls. So you don't have to buy a separate adapter. Uh, once you get the unit and you unbox it, um, it has this little flyer um, on how to set it up. Uh, with compatible vehicles um, on the side here. So not everything will work, but I've, I've noticed on mine it does work. That's why I picked it up. Um, so with this built-in uh, steering wheel control unit, there's three wires, a ground, a one, and a two. And then there's this chart with a list of possible connectors and then illustrations down below. Uh, what you want to do is locate your vehicle make and then locate your, your, uh, your pins or your uh, connectors. On my Toyota, there I had three connectors. Um, if you don't know, most of these connectors are bespoke, so no two are alike. Um, two of my connectors plugged into the wiring adapter. I had a third one that did not. My third one turned out to be this 20 pin, and that 20 pin is the S adapter up here. So I was looking at pins seven, eight, and six. Now, if you follow the chart, um, pin seven connects to um, steering wheel control, steering wheel wire one. Um, pin 8 to 2 and then pin 6 to the ground. So you just go ahead and tap those wires and then finish installing the rest of your head unit. Um, it took me a while to figure this out why my buttons weren't working. I thought I misconnected something. I thought my vehicle wasn't supported and it just took a lot of playing around as the directions don't really give you the best information. Um, so from here I'm going to go back to my head, to my home screen. Um, locate your steering wheel controls icon. It's the one with the steering wheel for me so it's the bottom right. And then as I press these, nothing will happen. Um, I turn on the radio. I turn on the radio and show you, but due to YouTube's copyright function, um, copyright stuff, I don't want to play with it. So we'll do that later. Um, so with this on here now, go ahead and hit the reset to clear anything you might have had on there. If nothing's on there, go ahead and reset to get it ready to go. Um, and then locate your steering wheel control buttons. Um, do make a conscious note in the order you're pressing them because that will um, affect you later and I'll, just, I'll show you that in a bit here. So I have five buttons to press. I'm going to just press them one by one. And so there are my five. If you have more, keep pressing them. But again, do make a conscious note in the order you're pressing them. Come back over to your uh, your head unit now. You'll notice for me, I had five buttons. I now have five wire frequencies. Those correlate to my steering wheel control buttons that I was pressing. This is what the head unit was able to pick up. So if you wired everything correctly and you're with me so far, you'll notice some frequencies on your head unit. Um, and again, these don't mean anything right now because they're not assigned anything to it. Well, they're not assigned to anything right now. The head unit doesn't know what to do with these. So again, locate on the bottom here, locate your controls. Hit the assign button. You only got to hit that once to get it in the assign, fu assign function. So my first one, sorry, assign. And you'll notice now it's, it's lighted, my, highlighted. My first one was uh, volume up. Go ahead, my second one. My second one was volume down. My third one was next. My fourth one was previous, and my fifth and last one was my mode button. Um, so we'll get the mode button. So there you go. I assigned those frequencies to functions. You're limited on functions, so you might not be able to do everything uh, all your buttons were able to do. That's um, something you'll just have to take uh, risk with with this uh, head unit and putting in an aftermarket unit into your vehicle. Um, once you're done with that, go ahead and hit the confirm button to save it all. And now just test it out. Again, I can't turn the volume up on anything, but I just want to show you it works. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit the home button. I'm going to go to the radio function. And so now I'm on my preset my preset frequency 1. I'm just going to hit the next button. And you'll show it's flipped now to my second station, my third station, and back and forth. Um, you know, I'll show you my volume slowly here. You know, the volume function works. And the mode button turns it to USB and my different setups now. So it all works. So that's how you quickly set this up. It might be a little bit different, but I think that's, uh, in generalization, that's how the Xterra units work. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks, guys.